What's going on everybody? My name is James. Today we're going to be working on the BMW electric vehicle conversion. Now in the last video, I think we talked about the controller that I got and all that kind of stuff. So really we've kind of reached a plateau of all of the new things that I'm really going to be getting. There's a few other things that I do need to get, um, such as some connectors and things for the contactors and some wiring but a lot of the main components are finally taken care of. So now we're moving on to the fabrication and just the overall process of putting it in the car. So right now I actually have a pretty good handle on how things will probably fit in the car. Let me see if I can get a good angle here. Uh, so right now, Things are very much just in place for mock-up. This is not at all <laughs> secured in any way. This is just held up by a piece of wood there. But it uh, allows me to get an idea of where things are going to fall, and that way I can start to make a template and get things uh, kind of fabricated to get this stuff in the car permanently. So as you can see, the electric motor is on the bottom. The controller is on the top. I don't know if that's exactly where I'm going to leave it, I've also considered doing something like this, where it's kind of mounted up against the side of the, you know, inside of the engine bay here. That's kind of an option, but I don't know exactly which I'm going to go with, but I might do the charger there and the controller on top. I think that's probably going to be the best. Okay, so in the bell housing, this is kind of uh, where I'm going to be starting, because I think getting these things aligned is probably the most important part, and then getting the stuff kind of secured in the car is going to be the next step once this stuff is uh, kind of bolted up together. So that, so that is the transmission shaft right there. And then there's the pilot bearing. That, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or if I'm gonna cut it, but as you can see, it's kind of spacing out these two shafts so that there's a gap in the middle. What I might also do is actually drill a hole into the electric motor shaft here so that the electric motor can kind of go uh, up and over the uh, bearing there in that way it'll allow these shafts to be really well aligned. That might be what I do, but again, I don't know precisely yet. Um, the next step for me is getting a template of the bell housing. So basically just getting where the bolt holes are and a general size of it. And that way I can cut out some uh, steel, get the bell housing kind of bolted up, and then I can start to fabricate something to connect these two together and then finally get something made to secure it to the car. I don't know if I'm going to attach it to the old motor mounts. There's one there and there is one right there. I might do that, but I might also, just for the sake of making sure that things are really secure, is I might actually end up you know, using maybe these holes here or doing something off of the back of the subframe there to kind of give it some more support from the car. Because I think if I just use the motor mounts, it's going to want to pivot too much. There's only going to be one point of support. I think having multiple points of support is going to be better in the long run and kind of reduce this the risk of this stuff kind of buckling or breaking under the car. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm going to kind of get this stuff back out, get a template made for my bell housing, probably clean up some of this interior stuff. I need to get these AC hoses out. There's also some heater core lines. I might go over with some degreaser because <laughs> if I get the light here, we can see how coated this stuff is in this nasty, nasty power steering grease. Um, so that's kind of my itinerary for <laughs> the next coming days. So we will see what I can get done tonight. I should have a template made for the bell housing and some dimensions. I'll get some stuff cut tomorrow and then we can kind of try to see where everything falls and fabricate a little bit more after that. So I'm gonna to get to this and then we'll see where we end up. So my method for making a template of the bell housing and the bolt pattern is gonna be pretty straightforward. This is actually the bottom of like a pizza box. Um, you can actually probably use the square box as well, but this was circular, so I thought it might fit a little bit better. And then I grabbed some bolts downstairs, um, which will allow me to kind of hold I'll punch some holes in here and that'll allow me to hold the cardboard in place. And then you go around and you tap the cardboard with a hammer and it should make an impression of the bell housing and all of the bolt holes. That way we can cut a piece of steel that makes sure that it encompasses most, if not all of the bolt holes and uh, gets it to a pretty close size for us there. So I'm gonna go ahead, screw this or bolt it to the transmission, tap it a few times and we should have a pretty good idea of 
our template. All right, so now as we can see, we have the pizza plate all bolted up. So I have, I think, about two or three bolts in here just holding it in place. And now what we can do is basically take a hammer and just tap around all the edges, and that will make an impression of the entire transmission bell housing, including all the bolt holes and stuff. And so then I can take that, have an exact replica of basically a flat template that you can trace onto a piece of steel and make sure that everything lines up exactly the way that it should. So I'm gonna go over, tap around all the edges of the transmission, and we should have a pretty accurate rendition to work with from here on out. So let me do that and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so it's a little hard to see right now. I'm gonna go over it with a Sharpie just to kind of emphasize the edges and the holes and everything. Um, but if you look past <laughs> all the grease stains, you can actually kind of see the oil did a pretty good job at helping outline a lot of this edge. And you can see pretty clearly all of the little intricacies and actually even some of the little, um, I don't know, gaps and stuff. If you compare that to how the bell housing looks, it's a pretty exact copy, thankfully. So <laughs> it looks like uh, everything actually worked out really nicely. Even these two little uh, outlets right here where you can let out or all the excess fluid can drain out if there's a leak, even that kind of stuff shows up in here. You can see right where this thumb is, there's the gap, and then also right there. So we got a pretty clean template. So again, I'm gonna trace this with a Sharpie, probably maybe cut it out, and we should have a very accurate piece to work off of. Finally, here is the, I guess, the end product of all of this. We have a good idea of all of the bolt holes, which you can see there's one there, 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 there. That's not a hole, that's like a peg for an alignment. Hole, 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 um, bolt hole, and then just kind of some other details and those drains I mentioned before. And again, that's kind of the final pattern that I'll be using. And so for reference, here is the bell housing, how it actually looks. And you can see all the bolt holes and all the patterns match up really nicely. And even, like I said, I highlighted this little peg there, or the hole. Again, it doesn't look like a bolt hole. I don't know exactly what it was for, but it's there, so I'll <laughs> add it in the design. So hopefully you guys learned something. That's actually a method that people usually use to make gaskets. Usually when you use like gasket maker and stuff, that's the method that you use where you put it up against the part, tap it with a hammer, and it almost cuts itself out already. And then you can just use that. And so I kind of did a similar thing with that piece of cardboard or whatever material you're using you just tap around it. Sometimes you can even put um, like grease or something on it to really emphasize the marking. And then you have a really perfect replica of the face of the piece that you're going to attach to. And that'll allow you to, you know, mock stuff up without having to lug this 400 pound transmission around. So that's really all I had for you guys today. I'm excited to keep moving forward. Uh, so I'll get that piece cut and we should be able to get stuff slowly put in the car. I've also you know, made some other progress in areas. As I mentioned last time, I found a spot in the ECU box where I can tap into to find out you know, where the key position is. So I'm gonna try to experiment and see if I can get the contactors to turn on when the key is on. That's gonna be kind of an exciting little jump forward. I'll have the wiring harness for the controller in, I think actually tomorrow. So I might actually try to do some tests with uh, some spare batteries I have lying around see if we can get the electric motor turning to different speeds using the controller. Uh, and other than that, I think we're in a very good spot. Uh, everything is pretty close to being done. It's just a matter of putting all the pieces together. And of course, it's gonna take the longest amount of time. I'm trying to get a hold of as many tools as I can for this project, just so that I can do the work myself and have it done the same day instead of having to you know, contract out work. And that kind of makes my life easier as well and makes this project go a little bit more smooth. So I'm very excited for the future. I think we are in a very good spot and I hope we can get this buttoned up pretty quickly. So I will see you guys in the next video when we have that plate and we'll see what we can do from that point. So I'm excited for that. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss those future videos. If you guys found this interesting or helpful in any way, hit that like button and always lets me know what you guys are thinking about this project. But that's it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.